Growing up, my parents have taught me to respect my body, to protect my privacy, and to speak up if I felt unsafe or if something made me feel uncomfortable. Now that I'm 14, I've been shocked to learn not all adults feel the same way. In fact, they may even punish you for speaking out. My name is Blake Allen, and this is my dad, Travis. I told my friends that I didn't think a teenage male should be allowed in the girls' locker room where my volleyball teammates and I undress and change. For that, I was suspended by the adults who are in charge of my school and school district. Those adults also went after my dad, suspending him from his job as a soccer coach in the district after he defended me on social media. So with the help of Alliance Defending Freedom, we filed a lawsuit against the Orange Southwest School District in Randolph Union High School so that this doesn't go unchecked. It's wrong to force girls to change in front of boys, and it's wrong to punish girls like me who aren't afraid to say so. This all started when Blake's school allowed a male student who identifies as a girl to compete on the girls' volleyball team. While the girls were changing one day, the male student walked into the locker room. The girls were in various stages of undress, so they were naturally uncomfortable with the situation. As you can imagine, Blake was upset. She called her mom, who contacted school administrators to let them know what was going on. She wasn't alone. Multiple parents called administrators. Their goal was simple to protect the privacy of our daughters while they changed on a public school campus. Not only did school officials make no attempt to provide the girls with any support or a workable solution, they tried to put the blame on Blake and the other girls for saying that a teenage male shouldn't be allowed to watch them undress. The next day, I was talking with classmates about what had happened. Someone overheard me telling my friends that this student was a dude and that he doesn't belong in the girls' locker room. They reported me to the school authorities. The school began an investigation. In the meantime, they banned our entire girls' volleyball team from using the girls' locker room. And even though the male didn't hear me and wasn't even in the class, the school found me guilty of harassment and bullying of a student on the basis of a targeted student's gender identity. As punishment, school officials told me I was suspended. Plus, I was told I would have to participate in a restorative justice circle with the equity coordinator and submit a reflective essay saying what I had learned from the experience to avoid further suspension. But shouldn't every girl be taught to speak out to protect herself from situations that violate her privacy? and be listened to by those in a position to help? Not at my high school. If you don't comply with this school's preferred gender identity policy, you're the bad guy. I'm proud of my daughter. The mature, courageous way she has handled herself throughout this entire ordeal has been outstanding. Over the past five years, I've coached multiple sports teams in the school district. And Blake has shown exactly the kind of character I strive to develop, not only on my teams, but for each of my own children. But I won't lie to you, it's been incredibly difficult to see my own daughter go through this. Aside from the mistreatment by her school on multiple levels, Blake has been blasted publicly by school officials, the media, and online. She's even been threatened in person. So when a social media user who said she was the mother of the male student who'd walked in on Blake and her teammates accused Blake of making this all up for attention, I defended my daughter. The truth is, your son watched my daughter and multiple other girls change in the locker room. I wrote, while he got a free show, they got violated. For that, specifically for what district officials deemed misgendering the student, I was suspended without pay from my position as a middle school girls soccer coach. I was told I would have to give a public apology if I wanted to get my job back. All for speaking truth in defense of my own daughter. Instead of sticking up for the safety and privacy of girls, district administrators are sticking to their preferred view of gender identity. They are more than willing to censor anyone who dares to think differently. On the same day that we filed the suit with Alliance Defending Freedom, 
the district pulled back on its original punishments against me, but it did not revoke my dad's suspension. We're hopeful our lawsuit will stop this from happening to anyone else. It's school officials' job to ensure every student feels safe at school. And it's their job to listen to and respect our views, not silence us for speaking out to defend ourselves. Follow our case at adflegal.org. You can find more videos like this at adflegal.org slash freedom matters or at this YouTube channel. While you're here, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you'll never miss another episode.